Hey you guys, I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna take a look at County Road 30A in Florida. It's along the Gulf Coast between Panama City Beach and Destin with amazing beach towns. And we're gonna take a look at all of them or as much as we possibly can. I absolutely love this area and I'm so excited to show you pieces of everything along 30A. We're gonna start in Inlet Beach and that's right by Rosemary Beach on one side of 30A. And we're gonna travel all the way across to Santa Rosa Beach and the surrounding areas over there. And I wanna take a look at the beaches. Some of them are private and some of them are public. We're gonna look at shops and restaurants and popular hangout areas. And of course, some of the off the beaten path things like community pools and parks and common areas and biking and walking paths and also residential streets and what they look like in this area. So I'm so excited to show you. There's so many things that make each of these towns great. And of course, let's get going. We'll start our tour at Inlet Beach. All right, and we're starting on Inlet Beach, beautiful Inlet Beach at the very end of 30A. The Inlet Beach access is just very pretty and woodsy and natural. They do have a bathroom area and parking area. The parking can be a little bit challenging, so I just recommend that you get here early so you grab a great spot and head to the beach with no worries at all. Inlet Beach also has Shades Bar and Grill, and it's the start of the Timpuchi Trail, which is the bike trail that goes like 18 and a half miles all the way across 30A. So a lot of people just want to use bicycles as their mode of transportation along 30A, which is great. Welcome to Rosemary Beach. And this entrance says it all, it's so pretty. They have lots of green spaces here in Rosemary Beach and they also have the 30A Farmer's Market. Just so much fun, lots and lots of booths each Sunday, all year round. There are also community pools for those guests that stay here too. Right, Rosemary is charming and romantic and there's a lot of shops and boutiques and there's also a rooftop bar and grills so yes you can get the ambiance of rooftop dining which is amazing and I love this town because of the architecture and a lot of different cute things but it just looks so European and fun Rosemary Beach uh, does not have public beach access. You have to be a resident or a guest here. You have to just go a little ways down if you're visiting. Really cute place, Rosemary Beach. It's, it's just off of 30A. Is this cute little shopping center and they have Amici's and they also have Kuvi 30A. So definitely check those out. I hear Kuvi 30A has amazing happy hour specials and they have a guitar player and they're just cute little venues. So definitely check it out. Welcome to Seacrest. All right, so we are in Seacrest Beach and uh, they have a cute little area for Peddler's Pavilion where you can rent bikes and lots of shops and places to eat. And they have Beach of Brew behind me here, which has a ton of taps and um, happy hour specials. So, lots of fun. Laco, which is Mexican with a coastal flair, has the best margaritas on 30A. Next, we'll visit Alice Beach. We're here in Alice Beach, which is also called White Town. This town is so neat. All the buildings are white, so they actually have a digital graffiti festival each year where they bring in lights and colors and they shine that on these buildings, which is really neat and quite a sight. They have a very popular restaurant, George's, and they also have a donut truck and meat, which is a bottle tasting. And one of my favorites, Ron Juicy, where you can find your fresh squeezed juices. They have a bar, they have a fire pit out back, which is really neat. You can just enjoy the afternoon just sitting by the fire. 
this place has a community pool. It's called Kaliza. And they have, um, there's a bar and restaurant. Um, you can get drinks right by the pool. They also have sculptures and they have a neat walking path and green areas that you can explore with cobblestone streets and pretty fountains. It's really neat. Also some very nice green spaces. This um, area leads up to the Alice Beach access, which is a private beach access. You have to be a resident or staying here in order to have access to that beach, but it is lovely. Welcome to Water Sound on 30A. We're going to show you the hub, which is super cute. It's amazing. The hub is one of my favorite places. They have a fun little food hall underneath a roof where there's lights and there's nice seating, comfortable places. Little pods, you know, where you can have lots of friends and hang out. It's so much fun. They have live music and of course, outdoor seating. And it's just really cute. They have like food trucks and fun foods and drinks. The hub has such a cool vibe. Um, they have a huge screen there to watch movies or sports events and an awesome little area to sit down. They have a fire pit. It's just, it's a really cool vibe. And just past the hub, we are able to get to a public beach. We are at Walton Dunes Beach Access. A little drive off the main road, but not bad. Um, there's some public parking, so you can walk your things over. But here's the beach. It's great. And here is Seagrove. We are in Seagrove and we're going to check out the Florida Fish House. They have cute back patio with lights and overlooks a lake. It's really, really cute. This is a very beautiful venue. They actually use it for weddings. And they have brunch on special occasions. It's just lovely. And this is Coastal Dune. Also very cute. And of course, as you drive along, you're going to find additional shops and places to go, like the 30A store and also places to rent paddle boards and bikes. And here is Seaside. We've reached Seaside and Seaside is um, home to the movie set for The Truman Show, if you've ever seen that, which is kind of cool. It also has a lot of fun stuff like Airstream Row, which is fun. And then of course, all the shops and restaurants and an amazing view. And this is Airstream Row, you guys. This is one of my favorite places in Seaside. It's just so unique. There are Airstream trailers that are food trucks and there's a bunch of them and there's lights outside and there's places to sit and there's just something for everybody. It's just super cute. Across the street, you're gonna find additional places to eat like the Shrimp Shack and a taco bar and a pizza place. All right, there's the view we've been waiting for. And the beach access in Seaside is private for guests unless you rent a cabana. There's also additional casual dining with the pickles, burgers, and shakes. They have some outdoor seating, which is really nice. And it's always fun to stroll through this beachy, boutique-y area of shops. Off the beaten path in Seaside, you'll find a chapel. You'll find some green spaces with some unique art. And also, of course, some more shops and restaurants and fun little areas to be.
Let's check out watercolor. We are in watercolor and I love this little area because all the houses are sort of like watercolors, pastel kind of um, cute little vibe. There's a wine bar and there's a scratch kitchen. There's a few restaurants. There's a candy bar and um, lots of green spaces and parks and beautiful things. And you can actually rent like kayaks and paddle boards and things like that here. There's even bike trails and there's also a community pool. Next is Grayton Beach. Not far out of watercolor, you'll find Grayton Beach State Park. There is a fee to get in, but they have a campground and they have a beautiful public beach access. In Great Beach, you'll also find a nice little shopping area. There's a restaurant called Cracklings that's super popular for breakfast. We're in Greeton Beach and um, we drove by AJ's. Their bar area is huge. They have live music and then they have, one of their bars has a paddle chandelier, I guess. There's a big log and a paddle, which is fun. And now we're at Red Bar and I'm gonna go check it out. This they had to rebuild because it burnt down and so they rebuilt it exactly how it is or how it was. The residents in Grayton Beach can actually get a pass to drive their car on the beach, which is kind of neat. And this is a very artsy place. There's a lot of different galleries and a lot of different shops and boutique type of things. There's also a delicious bakery, the Black Bear Company, that provides some really delicious items. Next is Blue Mountain. All right, we are at Blue Mountain Beach. And this is the beach access here. Looks beautiful. Looks amazing. Blue Mountain has a really cute ice cream shop, among other restaurants. And interestingly, there's the covered bridge for the bicycle trails, which is really kind of a neat little feature. Welcome to Santa Rosa Beach. We're in Santa Rosa Beach, and it's so close to Dune Allen and Gulf Place, so a lot of the things kind of show up at Santa Rosa Beach, but they might be in those other two areas. So um, this is called Gulf Place, and it's a cute little spot with shops and just so neat. On 30A, there's a company that actually rents bonfires on the beach, along with other things, but that sounds like a fun time. Be sure to check out some of these restaurants. This is Shunk Gully's Oyster Bar, and they have a really fun staff. They also have live music in the back in a tent, which is a lot of fun, and you can get oysters on a log. Also check out Pecan Jack's ice cream. And the Greller Garage. The owner is actually an artist who airbrushes on surfboards and motorcycles and they have a lot of different beer taps, which is fun. Across the street from those restaurants and shops, you're gonna find a public beach access and they have a nice bathroom area and showers and a lovely beach. And that, that concludes our tour of 30A. I sure hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming along and we'll catch you soon. And I was only able to see the tip of the iceberg on 30A. There's so much to do and to see along these beautiful beach towns on 30A. So please let me know if there's something that you come across that is amazing and wonderful. I'd love to hear it. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining.